Thanks for coming. It was a good win for us. Cal Poly is an excellent basketball team, very dangerous. Uh, they really spread the floor. They have six or seven players that shoot the ball at a high level, so I thought it was a good team win. We uh, tried to take the three-point line away. Didn't do a very good job in the first half where they made six. Uh, I thought we did a better job in the second half. And uh, I'm very, very happy uh, with our performance. Um, I'm proud of our players. Coach, Julian's impact was immediate right away. Um, this team's offense just moved a lot better with him back and forth. Yeah, we, we didn't. Jordan had six assists last game against Yale, but we only scored 68 points, and, and we didn't have a lot of team assists because <clears throat> Jordan and Julian are so good together moving the ball. And so we really need both of them uh, to, to be f uh, our, uh, effective offensively like, like we need to be um, or want to be. Uh, you saw tonight where he had 13 assists. He moved the ball. He penetrated. He made plays for his teammates. He's very unselfish. In fact, I think he even gave up a layup one time to, to pass the ball to his teammates. So. Um, we're getting that kind of production from Julian and Jordan. We're, we're, we're a good offensive basketball team. What do you attribute that difference in the first half of just crossing through? Well, we tried to run them off the line in the second half. They made a lot of pull-up jump shots in the second half. They're a good offensive team. They, they've scored, I think they're averaging 75 a game, and they, they haven't been under 70 with the exception of maybe one game all year. So, so they're, they're explosive, uh, and we knew that coming in. And, and they. Um, uh, all their big guys shoot threes or four man, and we had to switch one through four, and and then they, they have some guys who can put the ball on the floor and drive you. So um, uh, we just tried to run them off the line in the second half. They got some some shots in the lane in the second half, but at least we gave up two instead of three. Uh, and we were playing so well offensively, we were able to withstand that. Uh, I guess we outscored them in the paint by eight. Uh, yeah, he, he's a he's a very good player. Uh, I think he struggled a little bit tonight with his his two for ten. So I give our guys credit because he, he's he's a really good offensive player. Uh, he can go inside, he goes outside, he shoots the three. He's tough in the lane, good rebounder. So to hold him for two two to ten, I does um, I, I give our guys credit for doing that. Well, we're averaging almost nine makes a game. Uh, so that's part of our offense. When you have a shooters like we do, we try to spread the floor and open the floor up for our penetration and, and uh, our post touches. And, and then when, when it's time to step up and make shots, we need to make them, and, and they did tonight. Coach, what's the biggest, what's the biggest part of Peyton's game that you've seen develop in the last year? His efficiency. He, he's... His shooting percentages are much higher. He's not taking as many bad shots, meaning contested shots. Any contested shot, especially a contested jump shot, the percentages are extraordinarily lower than, than uh, uh, an uncontested shot. And he's worked hard on his game, his decision making, and his skill set. So he's a much better basketball player this year. He he's, uh, has a positive assist to turnover ratio, whereas last year it was negative. And his shooting percentages are much higher. He's just, he's just a much better basketball player and, and, and he's bought into a team concept he's defending he's, he's trying to rebound he's uh, and he's he's looked great I think he's had a, a really good start to the season you think uh, uh, I think the maturity since last year compared to how well he's developed yeah he's he, he, you, you can see he's uh, he's not as emotional he, he's level-headed he, he, he keeps playing he, if he makes a mistake he just keeps playing or last year if it seemed like uh, uh, he would get down on himself, and at, at times, uh, if he missed a couple shots or turned it over, and it, it would kind of snowball on him. And, and uh, but, but this year, he, he's uh, really matured, and, and I'm proud of him. He, he's worked hard at it, and, and uh, we need him to keep playing like this. Coach, uh, 14 uh, second chance points for Cal Poly. Uh, what sort of uh, adjustments did you see between the Yale game and the Yale game? I'm sorry. Uh, what kind of like adjustments? Second, second chance points. Yeah. For Uh, well, I thought our rebounding was decent, and yeah, for the most part, we've been rebounding the ball at a high level the last few games. Uh, I wasn't really concerned. They, they got a couple tip outs. Uh, we we had, they had a couple layups they missed and got offensive rebounds. We went for some shot blocks and just left the rim wide open. And 
So I, I didn't think that really hurt us. Uh, they, did, they did get a kick out three in the first half on an offensive rebound. We, we just tried to block a shot. We had no chance of blocking, and the rim was wide open, and they just kicked it right out for a three. So th th those, those type of plays, are, you, you need to just use your head a little more and be a little smarter uh, at times. But uh, I thought a rebounding was fine tonight, and, and we just need to keep, keep uh, doing what we've been doing the last six, seven games in the rebounding. Well, he's a junior now, and if you remember watching him the last two years, he didn't look like he does now. Uh, that's why I have a lot more gray hair. Uh, he, he's he's developing, he's maturing, just like his, his Kate and Reinhardt. Uh, he's more under control. He sees the floor. He's he's not leaving his feet and just flipping balls everywhere. He, he he's uh, being a leader, uh, and and he's slowing down when he needs to slow down. He's still in attack mode most of the game because he's so explosive, but he. Um, He's learning how to, to be a lead guard, and, and, and I think Jordan and Julian playing together have helped both of them. Uh, and uh, it, it's nice to see them playing well together. Shamir had an outstanding game. Um, what's, what's been his development the last few days, kind of lead up, the last few games lead up to this point, you think? We had his career high today in points. Um, he, uh, he's a typical freshman. He, he's talented. Uh, he's learning the college game. He's learning how to guard bigger players. He's learning how to guard smaller players. He's learning how to ro rotate on defense. He's <laughs> learning a lot of things. And it's overwhelming at times when, when you first start as a freshman, especially when, when we ask him to do so many things defensively. Um, and then offensively, he's, he's learning how to use his lower body and, and to, to be stronger. And, and I thought he did a nice job today of running quickly to the rim, getting post touches. He made a couple face-up jump shots, and, and you can see his skill set starting to develop. So um, we're proud of him. You just got to keep getting better. Do you think this was his most comfortable game today? Uh, well, I guess if you say his career high, I guess I, I guess say yes. Uh, but but he, uh, he's got, uh, he, he has a lot to, to learn still, uh, but, but, but he, uh, he's a, he has a terrific work ethic, and, and he watches film, and so, so he, uh, we expect him to keep getting better. Well, I think you, you, we like to get up and down the court. We like to push the pace, and, and we have athletes and some size and length and some shooting. So when you can space the floor, it, it opens up the middle of the lane. Um, last year, we had trouble shooting the ball from the perimeter, and, and so the, the lane shrunk. And, and if you can't open the lane up, uh, it's hard to get to the rim. So uh, I, I think it's uh, the way we're playing, sharing the basketball. Uh, yeah, that's the style we like to play. Anytime you have 22 assists in a game, uh, that, that, that's excellent. So uh, I'm proud of our players. They made a commitment to, to play team basketball and, and, and try to make the extra pass and hit the open man. And as I said, when it's your time to step up and make a shot, uh, uh, they, they've done that for the most part. With, with that being said, 9-2, and two, uh, the wings are a lot stronger compared to what you guys had in Hampton State last year. Is this the kind of chemistry that you want to see build with two games to go before conference, uh, conference play starts? Yes, yeah, so we, we feel great about being nine and two. Uh, we, we played a tough schedule. Uh, we we uh, uh, some of the teams like Cal Poly tonight. We, they're a good basketball team. Yale was a good basketball team, and uh, uh, <coughs> we know the Pac-12 is as good as it's been in a long time, from top to bottom. But we're not really focused on that yet because we have a, we're taking this game by game. Uh, we just need to keep improving as a team. Uh, and, and getting better. Uh, I think we've done that for the most part throughout the, the, this early season. And, and I think that the, the wins have come because we've done that. Uh, so none of the games have been easy, but, but uh, we've played well as a team. And, and uh, we're happy to be 9-2. and two. Obviously, everyone wants to be better. I'd like to be 10-1 and one or 11-0, and 0, but we're not. Uh, so, so our goal is to take it game by game and keep improving. And, uh, and, and we'll, we'll see where, where we can go. Thank you.